Hello, I'm Brian, I'm the Chairman of the Trustees of St Lawrence Chapel, which was built in 1307 as a Chantry Chapel and subsequently became a grammar school and is now a heritage and community building used by the people of Ashburn and it's used very extensively by a whole range of community groups. So our job today is to come in undertake an energy audit, we'll go away, we're going to write a report and that report will essentially go through some of the, uh, the yeah, opportunities yeah. that exist within, within the building. The chapel is used probably as one, two, three choirs that meet there regularly, yeah. parties occasionally, the History Society meets in the chapel, wedding receptions, French class, the University of the Third Age okay. started coming here as well now recently. I should think probably we there's probably about eight or nine hundred people here. Right, every okay. month. Okay. One of the groups that use this building very regularly are the West Country Embroiderers. Um, they're here today, as you know, and they, they embroider all day long. How many people each time? Uh, probably 10 to 15. It's quite warm in here. Uh, there's always plenty of heating on, you know, available. Yes, and it's quite a warm building, yes. So I'm in the St Lawrence Chapel doing the energy audit and I'm going through the very laborious process of working out how much heat is being lost from the building through the different elements, so how much of the walls, the roof, the floors, and that means that we can work out, if we were to say insulate the loft in this part, how much energy and how much money they could save. The construction in here is, is not up to modern standards obviously, and you can see, you know, you, you, you're also seeing the colder points coming in where the wall meets the ceiling as well there, sort of 9, 10 degrees. So there are issues of, uh, of, of moisture here and, and that's why they need the dehumidifier on. What you've got here is um, an uninsulated heating pipe which is on an external wall. That heat is just going to be leaving the pipe, going through the external walls, not allowing the radiators to do the job that they need to do. So it's just another example of maybe where some insulation around the pipe is very cheap. Um, can then allow the heat to be directed to where it really needs to go. Okay, so we've just finished our energy assessment of St Lawrence Chapel, a community-owned building in Ashburton, some of it dating back from the 1300s, so it's a really complex building in some parts. So there's four things that we think they should focus on predominantly. Number one is their heating strategy. People are allowed to turn the radiators on and off with TRBs. There's no thermostatic regulation for the room temperature. Point number two, there's a lot of uninsulated loft area in the building and it would be very easy to insulate at least two thirds of the roof area with 300 millimetres of loft insulation. Number three, there's loads of exposed pipe work again. You've got radiators with no reflectors. All of this heat is going straight out of the wall and we need to get that to the place where it needs to go and also back into the building. Point number four, there's a lot of lighting in the building and none of it is low energy. It would be very easy to switch to low energy lighting and cut electricity use for lighting by at least 80%. There's loads of other things as well. They've got suspended wooden floors with no insulation, they've got single glazed windows and also there's draft proofing that is desperately needed around all of the doors etc. So altogether we think they can make huge energy savings.